uh, guys, it says using a suitable substitution or otherwise, uh, simplify and solve the following equations. Now, what I'd be inclined to do here is I'd be inclined to say uh, 2 times blank squared minus 5 times blank minus 2 equals 0. Okay? I choose a letter of my choosing. See the way see the way I just left the blanks hollow. Have we got that? This question is done very similarly to the questions that are already done in the chapter. So what we did, pick any letter I want. I'll go for A. Okay? So instead of 3x minus 1, I have A equals 3x minus 1. See the way the A is taken over for 3x minus 1. This is what's referred to as a substitution. Same thing as a football game. Ronaldo comes off and somebody else comes uh, comes on the pitch. They've replaced each other, okay? Here's what we're going to do. This question now becomes 2a squared minus 5a minus 2 equals 0. I solve in the normal manner. Is that a minus 2? See the way it says give your answer correct to one decimal place? I think it's a minus b. Okay, so... Uh, a may have been a bad choice because it could get you mixed up with the other A. So I'm going to I'm going to use Y instead. If that's okay with you guys, is that all right? Two Y squared minus five Y minus two. The reason why I did that is I'm going to have to say A equals two, B equals minus five minus B equals plus five, C equals minus two. Can't do the minus B formula, which we're all very familiar with. Okay, next we're going to fill out this minus B formula. Okay, 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times minus 2. All over, guys. 2 times 2. Okay, guys, let's have a look at this now. So, uh, you might want to do this on the calculator, yeah? So I will take out the calculator and give it a go. 5 plus square roots. Quiet, please, gents. Thank you. Five plus root forty one over four, I go. Anybody else? Yeah. Two point eight five for the plus answer. And for the minus answer. Now, remember I told you some good habits. Uh, I, I, I don't feel like I've written enough from by my standards, so I'm gonna go for whoa, say one sec. Five plus root forty one. I'm gonna actually write that down. 5 plus root 41 over 4. The other one's going to be 5 minus root 41 over 4. Okay. And just change it to a minus at the very top. There you go. And you get 5 minus root 41 over 4, which is minus 0 0.35. Okay. Uh, so, because y represents 3x minus 1, what we're going to do down here is say that 3x minus 1 equals 2.85 and 3x minus 1 equals minus 0.35. Let's move things over. What happens when you move minus 1 over to your side? And then it comes 3.85 and then the other one. When you move minus 1 over to your side? And what's minus 0.35 plus 1? 0.65. Now you got to divide them both by 3. So 3.85 divided by 3 is uh, 77 over 60 or 2.1.28. So x equals 1.28. Was it one decimal place or two? So was it? Set, cool, so that's perfect. So one decimal place will be 1.3.
Look at it here, guys. 1.3. Okay. Now to get your 0 0.65 divided by 3, and you get 0 0.2. Okay. I did come in behind you, okay? Alright guys, so it's 3 times blank squared for this quadratic equation. You can see that I'm replacing the x minus 1s with a blank. I'll choose a, I'll choose a letter of my choosing. The letter I'll choose is, for argument's sake, I'll choose y, where y equals x minus 1. Shh. This is the substitution. Now you get 3y squared minus 2y minus 1 equals 0. You have a reference number of minus 3, which is minus 3 and plus 1. You then get 3y squared minus 3y plus 1y minus 1 equals 0. 3y into y minus 1, minus 1 into y minus, whoa, wrong, plus 1 into y minus 1 equals 0. Now what you're going to get here is 3y plus 1, y minus 1 equals 0, y minus 1 equals 0, y equals to 1, 3y plus 1 equals 0, 3y equals minus 1, y equals minus 1 over 3. Now guys, once you get your two answers for the y values, you're going to replace y with x minus 1. That's what you, you said at the very beginning. So you're going to say x minus 1 equals minus a third. You're going to say x equals minus a third plus 1. Put that into the calculator, you'll find out it's two thirds. Nextly, x minus 1 uh, equals 1, because y equals 1, we have to 1 over your side, then you're going to get x equals 2.